Chainsaw Man. It's here. We're it's happening. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Listen, let me take you, a long read, drag off the cigarette. I'm going to start off immediately by saying if you don't read this series, go read it. It's 19 chapters. Just read it. Oh, it's, it's, it's fucking amazing. Like, I didn't expect it to be this amazing. It just is. In one the things of those, I like, do for a fucking series, Red, I'm actually smoking a cigarette here. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, we just read that whole chapter about, um, you know, the, the guy that didn't want to smoke, but then he did because he had that connection with that girl, yep. you know? Holy shit. Well, I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? What immediately hooked me about this series is it's it's got it's got simplicity down but like oh, yeah. it's it's on the surface very simple but then it kind of gets more complex and what i mean by that is i can immediately kind of understand the psychology of the main character who and on surface level seems like a really just dunce idiot but like <laughs> he's basically just a dude that has been raised not even raised like his dad fucking died with a bunch of debt and then he was like saddled with a hell of a lot of debt so his whole life has just been like the poorest ghettoist bullshit his whole life he lives in a shack in the middle of the woods he eats like a slice of bread a day he sold one of his balls and most of his organs that don't require him to live I mean, this is the kind of fucking life this guy lives and what i what i've been latching on to i uh psychology wise for this guy is He is one of those people that keeps thinking, well, if I could just get this, I'll be happy. Or if I could just get this, I'll be happy. Um, One of my favorite moments is in chapter one, he's looking at these, all these like rich mafia dudes that are fucking him over that made a contract with devils to gain more power. And he's like, I don't get it. You guys are rich. You guys are already powerful. And that even they weren't happy in their positions. They had all the things that I wanted and more, and they still weren't happy. And then that theme carries on throughout the story to where we are now, where he keeps gaining like goals um and he's like no i gained that goal still still wasn't really happy it wasn't an end goal and this is kind of the theme you see too with his um the chainsaw puppy that became his heart he was like i want to see more and more of your dreams so basically the whole through line of this series is just like what's my next dream what what do i think is going to make me happy now and it just continues to escalate what's going to make me happy now what's going to make me happy now and his dreams are so simple but it makes sense from his perspective because this is a guy who has had nothing his whole life. So he has simple dreams like I want to eat bread with jam on it. I want to squeeze a girl's breasts. I want to I just want to cuddle I want to have love. I, you know, like just little shit like that, but it ends up being both hilarious but also wholesome at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely the simplicity of his fucking goals definitely is unique cuz they it's one of those series that actually knows how to do simple well. Yes. Because you look at series, and I'm going to get hate for this, but look at series like Black Clover, where you get the generic, mm. I want to be the, I want to be the fucking Wizard King, or look at Naruto, I want to be the Hokage, but they seem simple enough. Like I'm declaring this, I'm declaring this, but no, you, you work the entire series towards that one fucking goal. Yeah. Whereas here in Chainsaw Man, you're seeing Denji go through, I, I want to grab a titty. A bunch of different goals, too. And, like, what's... I, I, was... I want to have jam on my fucking toast because I'm poor. I live in the fucking ghetto. I live yeah, in the like, fucking remember that, that part where he, like, he, the first time he gets condiments for his toast, he puts, like, everything on it. Like, all right, right, I got, like, seven different flavors of jam. I got cinnamon. I got honey. It's all going on there. I'm just going to plop all this shit on here. And everybody's like, what the fuck? Mm. But it's, it's definitely... It's fucking beautiful because it's something he never got to experience he's never got to experience something like that yeah and, and where, where, where you a, have the go ahead sir where you have the broad fucking goals like this is something that no normal person can fucking obtain this is you know something that's one completely fictional and two it has nothing it has no grasp mm. to so you're us saying he's here. more relatable to like an uh, like the, us reading yeah, yeah he is definitely the most relatable oh, yeah. current fucking pro tag we have really i agree i mean every time i read this like like when he he basically to me represents the inner thoughts of most like straight dudes if you fucking like strip away all of like the pretending you know we we go out into society and we have to be polite we have to pretend you know to be more chill than we really are but like if you strip away all that fucking like fakeness and like uh you know we got to be polite in society this is what every guy wants, you know what I mean? Like, oh man, I just want to cuddle up next to a girl and play some video games and squeeze some boobies. Like, it's just the base level shit, you know what I mean? Like, he, he is so basic, but in a good way. Exactly. I fucking love Denji as a character. Me too. And, and I know it makes me sound like a fucking pervert, but I don't give a shit. No, well, I mean, it's, it's like, like, listen, man, like, just like 
anyone like sexuality is normal and it should it should be looked at as normal and oh, as yeah. long as you aren't like being a creep it is 100 percent okay to admit to being <laughs> denji attracted is kind to of women a creep, though. Yeah. <laughs> well denji is a creep yes but <laughs> but the interesting thing about denji is he is like again because of the way he was brought up i keep saying brought up like he had a parent he didn't <laughs> like the, oh, because he, of the way he really he lived, wasn't brought up yeah because of the way he lived he really, like, he didn't get any of that, like, politeness training or that normal person training, right? I so, agree. like, th- that's what makes him so interesting because he it truly is an unfiltered person. He is just truth. He doesn't lie. He doesn't bullshit. Like, like, exactly. even, like, like for example, like, you can, like, with his goals, but also, like, one of my favorite parts of the series so far, when he's kicking the dude in the nuts and he's like, when I fight a guy, I only kick the nuts. Like, he just doesn't, he, there's no rules apply to him because why would they? Like, look at how he, he, he lived up until now. Exactly. It's, it's fucking, it's beautiful in his simplicity for sure. I... Honestly, he felt really bad for the guy that kept getting kicked in the nose. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I'm like, god damn it! I've been kicked there so many times. My high heels, especially, got it hurts. It fucking hurts. <laughs> you know what I want to say too? Like going more into like what's so great about this series is, you know, you'll start to see like because you'll laugh if you're anything like me. Like the amount of time this guy is, you know, like he's he's obsessed with grabbing some boobs, right? And what I, and you know, it's played off for comedy, but like there's a, a chapter, I think it might be 13, I, I don't remember the exact number, but I really gained a lot of respect for this series because it, it teaches a really important lesson, and that is what you, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot, uh, you know, like that when Thurman always talks about wanting to have sex, yada yada, what do we say? We say it has to have that emotional connection. That's what exactly. makes it special, right? So like there's a really, really, really cool part that I fucking love in this series where he finally gets to grab some boobs, but it means nothing to him. He's like, well, that wasn't nearly as good as I thought. Like th- this is literally what I say about sex. Every time someone wants to rush into sex, I'm like, dude, if it's an emotionless attachment, it's not going to mean shit. Like it'll be over like that, and it'll be like, oh, what was that? That wasn't as good as it. The, you know what I mean? It only it lasts if you have an emotional connection. So exactly in this chapter, you have this great moment where he's just genuinely like upset. Like you know, his whole life he's wanted to grab some boobs because you know that's that's a thing that just instinctually it's like as a straight man you're like I want to do that. He does it. I want to go ahead. It's all the things, but it. it really it is fucking meaningless without that connection yeah it? so like he does it and then i wasn't expecting them to go into here do you mind if i just finish because i wanted to get uh yeah. more into what I, why i like that scene real quick um so he does it and, and you know he's just kind of feeling empty about it which which i, I love and then like he talks to this I, i'm very bad with names uh the name of the like really dominant dominating girl that's like his boss yeah, fuck names. I am. <laughs> fuck I, names. I, I am horrible with names, too. Either way. So he goes to her, and, and she, again, she's fascinating because she has, like, she really has no boundaries. She doesn't really seem to care. You know what I mean? Like, she's always in control, but she's also one of those people that's like, sure, you want to fuck me? You can fuck me. I mean, like, like she, she literally was like, yeah, if you kill the gun devil, you can fuck me. I don't care. Like, that's, that's crazy, right? But, like, so she basically... To teach him a lesson, she's basically like, listen, you know, like, here, look at my ears and look, look at my lips and memorize the shape of them. I'm going to bite your finger and memorize how that feels. And now, you know, touch my breast. And now that you understand me as a person and you have that personal mm-hmm. connection, see how much better that is. And I was like, oh, my God, like, that is profound. <laughs> it, it, I, I really like was. that. I really I went into the series when Thurman was like, "Yeah, you, you might like this. You might like this." And I'm like, "But it's it's another shonen." <laughs> uh, I've really, I really have been falling out of like the the shonen you know, demographic. You know, I've been diving more and more into sending. That's why, I, you know, it was kind of when we, we dropped Promise Neverland. I well, stepped I don't away think from that's like the reviewing show, manga. That's the fault of Promise Neverland kind of just dropping in quality. You know, like well it. It's not just that. Like, I was reading the fucking 15, 20 different shonen, and I'm like... I think you oversaturated yourself. Like, there's a reason I don't read that many manga at once. You you, you fucking... Oh. Yeah. <sighs> well, Thurman and I were like that, you know, and we would read fucking 10, 20 different manga at a time. 
Well, um, I'm just like, saying, like, like just because I generally, I, I greatly disagree with your your idea of falling out of shonen because in my mind, shonen is just like any. It's a genre. You don't fall out oh, of yeah. a genre. It's like saying I've I've I, I don't like any mystery sh- stories anymore. I don't like any western. Like you know, what I, like it's basically I, just there's gonna be shitty there's gonna be shitty shonen and there's gonna be oh, good yeah, shonen. And, yeah, like this. Yeah, there's there's plenty that I liked. You know, and then I'm just like, this isn't interesting me anymore. This isn't interesting me anymore. And I, I just go through fucking, you know, the generic front page of Manga Rock because that's what I use most of the time. Um, and I'm like, let me look at some of these, you know, sending and see if I like them. Uh, I find myself more drawn to that more mature story of, you know, the that genre really now. But this one, it just fucking the way it's so relatable, the way it's. It's almost like I'm back in high school again, really, because I was a fucking I was a moron. I didn't give a shit. I had no filter. I'm like, I'll yeah. say the stupidest shit. I'll fucking, I'll do this dumbest shit. And I'll, fucking dingy is me back when I was a fucking teenager. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, now this I can fu- I can fucking respect. And then how they fucking dive into like the emotional aspect, that how they dive into like this. Like you were saying, like, with the fucking chick, like, get this connection to me. Get this fucking, this real fucking profound meaning for, you know, what I am as a person, really. Mm-hmm. And then everything will mean, mean so much more. I love that. Uh, like you were saying, like, when Thurman will say stupid shit to us about, like, I, I just want to get laid on. I, I refer him back to my Tinder days. Like, it's meaningless sex. Yeah, like, and that was the point I always made back to him as well. I was like, sex without an emotional connection will be exciting in the moment. It'll be like a very oh, yeah. quick adrenaline hit, and then it's gone, done. In fact, if anything, you'll feel a sinking, empty feeling. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you, you definitely do. So, like, I love that lesson. Like, I genuinely respect the fuck out of this manga for that, because it's just like... It's one of the best ways I've ever seen that put before, that that lesson. It really, really fucking is. And I honestly, I hope to hell that they keep the series going. It seems to be, like, I, I was looking at the volume sales. Apparently, for a new series, it's pretty good. So I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And that, that really, really, if it continues, I wanted to continue having this deep meaning. So we... Go forward and fucking see. Goddamn, I got a full page ad on my phone. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Like, uh, I'm excited to see. <clears throat> I was trying to fucking find that name, but <laughs> um, I, I really, I really want to see it go down this path of keeping this this deep meaning to this current generation, because obviously this is targeted towards more of the the middle age audience, like the fucking thirteen to eighteen year olds. Although I will say, on that same vein. This shit is more violent than any shonen I've seen in a long time. And oh I am my fucking god! Genuinely yes. shocked that they are allowed to show some of the shit they're showing here. Well, I mean, look at Hunter X Hunter. No, I mean, no, like, this is more violent than Hunter X Hunter. I know, <laughs> like easily. Like, I, I, that was the most violent of the that generation, though. Really, mm. like <clears throat> this here is bordering on more of a Tokyo Ghoul style, oh, yeah. fuck, fucking violence, but. Not to mention, there are some chapters where if you fucking just started reading it, you'd think you were reading a hentai. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Holy fuck. Like, there's a fucking shit. great page where the one, the original boobs that he grabbed that he was, like, you know, not emotionally attached to. There's a page where she's, like, just kind of, like, just grabbing one of her tits and lifting it up. Like, oh, you want this? Like, oh, here it is. <laughs> like, Jesus. Here it is, baby. Like, uh, uh, but again, that sounds stupid. But again, like, it's, it's so interesting because it... it it, it kind of baits you into thinking that it's going to be just this, like, smut or this, like, oh, he just wants to see tits, but then he's more profound about it. And then just in a recent oh, yeah. chapter here, in one of the more recent chapters, uh, there was a girl that offered a kiss. And the author does an interesting thing where he, like, kind of does, like, a half character development where, like, it's character development, but it's not so quick that it seems unrealistic because at first he's, like... I don't need your lips because I don't have an emotional attachment to you. And so I don't need that. I'm going to wait until I kill the gun devil and get the lips that I have an emotional attachment to. And then she's like, oh, yeah, what if it's a French kiss? And he's like, okay, I might consider that one. (laughs) So he's like still kind of like childish, but kind of slowly developing and learning. Exactly. I, 
I like I was saying, I really, really want this to keep this fucking more mature tone because if you look at this generation that's coming up, goddamn, they need some fucking help. <laughs> I think like any fucking generation, I mean, there's going to be your rotten ones and there's going to be your, cause you know, it's funny. We have to remember when we were kids, you know, we would look at our parents and then like, oh man, they just don't understand us. You know, like, like oh, every, yeah. every older generation is going to look back at a younger generation and be like, oh, they're crazy. And when we were the young generation, we were so mad at our parents for doing that. So yeah. I don't know if it's fair for us to do that to the younger generation now. Well, at least we didn't eat Tide Pods, man. <laughs> Again, I know that's a joke, but to be fair, I don't think that was that many people that did that. <laughs> and we didn't floss and fucking. Do yeah, but like we did. What did, we may have not floss, but what was that fucking thing? Um, oh, oh god, what was it called? Where like there was nothing on the screen, like there was one person dancing, and then all of a sudden it cut, and then like the whole room was dancing. What was that? I don't remember. You no, know, you remember like it was like a challenge. This, uh, you seem to forget. I'm a little bit older than you. Fuck, at. What was it called? The, no, the Harlem Shake! The Harlem oh, Shake! Oh, God. See? I missed that, thankfully. No, see, my generation was doing that shit. We, we did one of those for the fucking uh, school opening at one point. Obviously, we had Gangnam Style. You know, so... Yeah. Uh, I I hit that one. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. just like, oh, this is cringe. So let's talk about the most recent chapter. Um, oh, fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> that shit was fucking fire. Literally... <laughs> I like how he says it. I made a perpetual motion machine. So I'm just going to keep chainsawing your blood into my mouth. Therefore, I can go forever. And we'll just sit here with my fucking chainsaw on your flesh until the pain is too great and you kill yourself. It's so fucking... I, I'm... Go ahead. I'm just... I'm looking at that. I was reading this shit like four in the morning last night. Because my dumb ass, uh -huh. being an adult... I had four loads of laundry. I was down to my last pair of boxers. Oh, yeah, dude. I feel you there, man. I am so procrastinating on my laundry. <laughs> I, I literally am like, oh, shit, I have nothing to wear to work Monday. I better fix that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, dude, I mean, at least you're not like me where you do your laundry an hour before you go to work and then you run down there, grab it out of the fucking, lo like, the, the washer and then quick put it on half damp. <laughs> oh, I've done that, too. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I was like, oh, shit. So I'm sitting there babysitting the fucking laundry. I'm reading this in the bed. I'm like, oh my fucking God, how did this get in here? <laughs> oh. And let's also talk about the uh, sacrificial stab there for a minute. The, well, one more time you cut Christ. out. The, talk about the what? The, the, the fucking stab and the fucking dude just taking that knife oh yeah 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 him being like yeah so it's interesting right like i like that we're seeing more development from him and he clearly he has a vendetta against the gun devil obviously oh yeah and and so he's like listen i don't he's a fucking idiot he's repulsive i hate him but he wants to kill the gun devil and he has a better chance to kill the gun devil than any of us do so exactly. i will fucking use my sword which apparently is like a life or like a drains kind of my some of my life kind of one of those kind of restrictions it's almost like a nin level there, really. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I'll be honest with you. These last, like, three chapters in the fucking, like, endless eighth floor, this has been, like, high-key, a mix. It's like if Araki and Junji Ito had a baby. <laughs> like, like there is JoJo-level shit happening, and there's also Junji Ito-level shit happening. Yeah, yeah, I looked at the fucking gun, the that fucking devil there, like, what the fuck? This looks like it's... I was just saying, it's like it's how fucking Junji Ito. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because like, Kate, Trice, the, man. the devil designs, 100% Junji Ito looking shit. And then like the weird, like, um, the, like the, the room never ending, that was like some Iraqi shit. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. That was just awesome. Um, two authors that I greatly respect. And like a lot of this devil restriction and fucking pairing is, it gave me a little bit of a Hunter x Hunter level fucking shit. Oh yeah. I... This is a love letter to what makes manga good, really. That is a great way to put it, actually. And, like, you're right, because you see, like, like I, we're, we're starting to learn a little bit more about the power system, which I like, because it's basically, like, making contracts with devils, but it's a bit different than, like, how Naruto did it, for example. It's a bit more hardcore. Like, you know, they literally eat your body. So, like, that one oh, yeah. girl, it eats her eye, and then she can use, like, a fucking ghost demon arm. And, and I like that they, they clarified that contracts are law for demons. Like, they can't fucking... It's not something they can break. Like it, it is, it, it, like so. It's not something. It's not like you got to worry that they're gonna lie to you. Like contracts are law. So that's interesting. 
Well, I mean, we saw kind of with the the bat demon, like the the treachery that right. The but, but that remember that was a contract with a with a devil man, and they oh, said yeah, that, it, that that's moot. That doesn't count. Yeah, that. But that's the treachery side of it that we see. I so think I, it was implied I, that if they make a contract with a human, they can't break they it. They can't, but they make it with the devil man. So I like that. I like that they're fucking self restricting in two different fucking areas. Yeah. Here too. So that was fucking clever as hell. And then we see in this fucking, this endless eighth, eighth floor, what the fatigue will do to human beings. Oh my well. God. That one, I, I, when she was first shown, I was like, oh, she's so cute. And then she goes fucking nuts. And I, like, I understand why. I mean, but like, wow, like that shit was sad to see her go so nuts and to see her. Cause like I, those kind of stories always get me emotionally, like stories that show how, oh, yeah. how easy it is to just break a human being and to make them turn into like their worst nightmare. You know? Exactly. I fucking, I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, what the hell? They, they've actually portrayed what that, that oh, yeah. mind break really is. <laughs> yeah and and like especially like the end of this chapter where it just hard cuts and they're like sleeping like how long's it been three days <laughs> three days can you imagine you're just you're basically like you're just up there sleeping in these rooms and you're just hearing for three days chainsaw noises and screaming <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah! oh it hurts jesus ah! <laughs> and then occasionally genji's probably like oh, i'm gonna get me that french kiss <laughs> so what do you think his next goal is going to be oh well first of all next chapter we have to see the french kiss now here's what i'm curious about will he accept it will he not if he accepts it is he going to have another moment where it's like nope that sucked i i needed that emotional connection and and then is he going to go french kiss with the dom chick i mean <laughs> i don't know fucking hell like that's what I love Every... about the series. That that keeps me coming back. Like you know, the, the fucking action is crazy, but I genuinely love this like etchy style, like learning to like learning about sexuality weirdness with him. Like it's it's fascinating, honestly. It and... really is. I never, I never really went for the super super fan servicey fucking series. It's barely even fan servicey. It's more like good. But ahead, like, but with the etchy shit here, it actually. I, I, I know it's not really fan servicey fan servicey, but like mm -hmm. it borders on fucking hentai, like you said at times. Yeah, well, I've oh. always I've always respected um like I've always liked romance manga when they're done well, right? Oh, yeah. And like the feelings I get when he's having moments where he's touching breasts or where he's like 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 you know that moment where she's like get to know me and then do it like those are the same feelings I would get while reading like a good right. romance it, manga. It really. Oh yeah, it, it's really that that there is the fucking fascinating part of this because you look at that and you, the contrast of like basically a fucking metal fan's dream of violence. Oh yeah, it's a very it's the, it's definitely you're gonna get the best of both worlds here. You're gonna get like a genuine. I feel like I should good... be playing the fucking Doom soundtrack in the background <laughs> while reading this. Yo, I need to fucking edit together a bunch of panels like Soul Madness style with just do 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 Yes. <laughs> Throw um, that up in the video now. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't make me do <laughs> If I feel like it, I'll do that. <laughs> Maybe, if you're lucky. Um, what was I, gonna say? I will be watching this review just to see that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe. <laughs> I do live to please. Um, uh, uh, but, uh, what I, uh, what, what about copyright? I'll have to fucking like make them real small or something. <laughs> oh yeah. You'll, you'll definitely have to make them small in 30 seconds or less. <laughs> Speed that shit up. <laughs> just, style. Like times 200 doom theme. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, uh, else? I had uh, something else to say. Um, so yeah, I want your thoughts just in general, your thoughts on, I'm going to keep, I, I've taken to calling her Dom bitch. Because she is, like, she has the most top energy. She is top energy. Like, let's be honest. Incarnate. She's my fucking dream girl. <laughs> Yo, is she? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you like, uh, you like top. You're a switch. You like top occasionally, don't you? <laughs> like, that fucking personality I find so fucking attractive for some reason. Okay, question, though. I just want you to know. I can see that. I, I, I look at this girl. There, she is not a switch. She is a constant top. You are not. You are not getting out of bottom if you're with her. I like me a challenge, Red. <laughs> oh, so the challenge would be to out top her? Yes. Bro, good luck. Good the fuck <laughs> luck. You know who she reminds me of? All right, and I need to feel I need I need you to feel me here. 
She <laughs> reminds me of, and I'm gonna fucking forget her name, but the the lead girl, like the 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 person in charge in the Helsing anime, Integra. Fucking hell! You you've got a point there. <laughs> she not. Like, and you, you want to know the. You, you want to know the weird part? <laughs> I was fucking insanely attracted to her. As oh, yeah. Well, you, you like dom chicks. I, I, I feel ah! you. I mean, you got to remember, ah! I took the fucking kink test, too. Uh, look up fucking BDSM test if you're curious what I'm talking about. I was a switch. I was, like, high, like one of the highest things for, for me Same was switch. Same here. So, like, I, I'm into that, too, just not, like, constantly. So, I feel you. Trust me. Especially, I mean, like, any... any Anytime a girl literally grabs your arm and puts it on her boob... That shit's awesome. Like that's happen, you know. Like that, I, I've I, that's happened to me, and I'm sure that's happened to you. And it's a great feeling. <laughs> God damn, dude. We're learning a lot about ourselves today, aren't we? Yay! <laughs> Seriously, this manga's phenomenal. And what I'm hoping that this can ha- can happen with this is when Thurman and I first started re- reviewing Doctor Stone, it got like 20 views or less, and it was back when Doctor Stone was like kind of a smaller, unheard of. But yada yada thing. Now all of a sudden, Doctor Stone's getting an anime. It's getting number one almost consistently on in the rankings. I'm hoping that this can happen with this one as well. Uh, we're gonna be the early ones on this, and then when it's popular, we're gonna be the OGs of this because this series is godly. And you please go and read it. I really let me check YouTube really quick. I do not. No, I looked it up, bro. I I couldn't find hardly anything. You can okay. look it too. I, I didn't see much. No names are recognized anyway. Oh, we got Manga Explained, Anime Man. Oh, yeah, Anime Man did something like, this manga's scary, or scariest manga. <laughs> oh, we got one that's got 487 views a month ago for Chapter 12. Not a lot. Oh. Yeah, like Rex the Hero. Not a lot of people review shit before, before 20, the 20s, because a lot of people want to make sure it's not going to get dropped. So, and then uh, you go from Chainsaw Man Chapter 19 to Lollipop Chainsaw, full game, 1080p X, uh, 60 HD walkthrough, no commentary. 3.9k views for no commentary gameplay, though. That's pretty fucking impressive. I'm not going to lie. Usually people fucking go to those just to like be like, how do I beat this part or whatever? Oh, yeah. But uh, anyway, godly. Um, this I just I love the series. I love this chapter. Um, yeah, I guess my main, my main point though, I guess my final ser- thought was going to be, um, just in general, that character, I'm very curious to see where she's going to go and to learn more about her because she is genuinely fascinating. And every time she has Shit, such a, dude. such a non, she's very, um, true neutral almost like, I don't know how to describe her other than like, yeah, really? Cause she gives the vibe that like at, in the beginning of the series, I kept thinking that like every time he was pervy, she was going to like be pissed about it but really she really doesn't care like do you remember when he does like early on in the series he comes back from fighting that one demon that pretended to like take the the daughter you remember yeah. from oh, that yeah. dad and he he does the, the classic anime trip into her boobs she didn't give a fuck she was like okay <laughs> she, so, so it's fascinating how little of a fuck she gives um to the point where again it she literally shocked me where she's like if you beat this demon any request and then he's like like having sex and she's like any request. I'm like, wow. So, I mean, she fascinates me as a character, and I hope to see oh, yeah. more of where she's going. Final thoughts Here. for you? Uh, definitely, I want to know more about her. I want to know why the fuck she gives so little of a shit. Oh, yeah. what the uh, fuck happened to her in her backstory? Oh, yeah. And that you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Another thing I can bring up, too, uh, is... um. I don't I'm trying to remember her name. The, this this new girl that we've met with like the the badge over her eye that has like the ghost demon. Um, uh, she said she she had that backstory where basically her superior told her only crazy people can make it in this industry in this field. Right? If you're normal, oh, yeah. you're gonna be fearful, and fear makes them stronger. So you have to have a couple screws loose. And I suppose she is the fucking one of the, one of the high ups. The only people higher than her was that like council of old people she was talking to. So, you know, if she's that high up, it makes sense that she would have a screw loose, just like this guy said, you have to have a screw loose. So I guess the question is, what made her that way? Definitely. All right. Uh, final thoughts for you, though. I'll let you talk this time and not cut you off. I keep thinking of new things to say. <laughs> and the final thoughts for me is, once we learn more about her, I really, really, really want to see Loads this. Of her. <laughs> I'm sure they exist. Not yet. No, it's too new, bro. Um, 
it's rule 34. <laughs> yeah, but we're in that stage of the internet. I don't know if you, I, I've, I've been into plenty of like, like look up Dr. Stone hentai. It's very still, like there's not like a lot of good ones, you know, like you're in that weird stage where you're going to get like MS paint hentai. Um, don't look no, up now. Holy fucking shit. There is no, okay. Hentai artists. There I told needs you, bro, to be rule well 34 of Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, I want to see this on me. God. Yeah, no, that'll probably be the first thing. Uh, chainsaw insertion. clit, so, you know, just like, <laughs> on the chainsaw. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. <laughs> I made a contract with a demon that gives me an adamantium clit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I'm into it. Oh, this video's getting age gated. <laughs> Surprisingly, it never does. I, think I am fucking. To, I think someone would have to flag it for that to happen. I am honestly shocked that none of these fucking reviews have been age gated. They don't care about uh, us. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I, I think it's more visual shit that they age gate for. Honestly, I don't know the full rules because I mean, like, the amount yet, of times I, I say fuck, 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 you know, like, like oh shit yeah, we say in our videos, man. I can't. <laughs> uh no, I I really want to see more of this. Almost relationship, but not relationship between Denchi and her. I love it. Like, there, there's definitely something there, and I fucking love it. Like, how she seems to not give a shit, but she really does. Almost. Oh, certainly. And there was also that early chapter where he said, um, "What kind of guys are you into?" And she said, "I guess people like you." So there is something going on for sure. Oh yeah, and I want to see that that bloom essentially Me too and you know like like you said there's really is that best of both worlds because you get crazy action but like it's genuine good romance so far oh yeah and it's it's so rare we see it done so fucking well i that that is what keep like you that's what keeps me coming back to this fucking series like there is so few manga that can be so fucking brutal yet so fucking pure yeah and i I fucking absolutely this is the one series i will fucking read before anything else right now oh yeah before ancient okay. mage's bride before fucking uh sacrificial vote before solo's fucking prison like this is that's shit a good out. sign that's always a good sign how you to know what you like the best like <laughs> before i was reading those three you know immediately and then i'll i still i still read promised neverland hoping to god to see it Limpet's dying, shambling corpse to the fucking finish line was one good fucking chapter. Big oof. <laughs> the biggest oof. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, slam that dislike button if you're salty. Smash it. Yeah, okay. Uh, God damn. I am making enemies today, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I'm excited to see where this goes from here. And this is a series that I can see myself buying the volumes of, so I'm excited to see oh, it yeah. localized, too. Oh, yeah. I... I have already added it to my Amazon cart. They've already have they have they Viz has Viz localized it already? There is a temporary listing. They haven't localized it yet. It's got the no cover, just a random like fucking placeholder date. Is it really? I'm I'm looking that up right now. Chain. So well, that means I mean if it's on if it's on as a temporary listing, that means they are gonna sell it eventually. I think. Oh yeah. Because I mean that's what they do with yep. like Hunter X Hunter, like the next Hunter X Hunter volume. There's like no yep. picture, but. I looked up Chainsaw Man. There's nothing there. Uh, that might be the. Uh, that might have been my fucking email. Like we have removed an item from your cart. Fucking hell. I don't think it's technically been. Yeah, yeah, but I'm sure it will be eventually. That and the Angel Mages Bride Light Novel Three are both out of my cart now. Fucking bullshit. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, think about like Promise Neverland was. Um, I think Promise Neverland was. They yeah. Were in forest when you know by the time that we got yeah. the localization news. Fucking that there is the most annoying thing, but fucking I I absolutely hate, hate the local. We were getting Doctor Stone until what like fifties. I don't know. I mean, it's it's fine. I mean, once we get it, it, it catches up pretty quickly. It doesn't bother me. I, I'm sure it'll happen uh, eventually. But um, we have the um, we have the knowledge that the first volume sold rather well in japan so obviously we'll get it localized here and hopefully once they put it back up for a listing it, it won't remove it from people's fucking carts uh <laughs> but i fucking i honestly 
there's so few of manga that I buy anymore, you know, the physical copies of. Now I've started shifting my manga purchases to digital. Because I don't know if you noticed during any of the live action videos, I have very little shelf space left. <laughs> mm, you prefer digital? Because I, I, I much prefer physical. I, I prefer physical for series I'm going to read, you know, constantly. And then there's those ones that, you know, I might read occasionally or go back to that, you know, for certain scenes, I'll fucking buy it digitally. Like, oh, here, this one here, this fight here, I fucking love. Mm. I'll buy the 99 cent volume on Comixology. Right, uh, right. Well, yeah. I, I, either way, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, final uh, say before we end this video here? Final say is... Uh, this is definitely going to be the new weekly series for me. Yeah, um, hype. And I can already tell this was one of the best videos I've done with you since, like, the Ruby reviews. And the hype is there, and I love it. I honestly, honestly, honestly would love, 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 love to see a second series be a, you know, thing. If anybody has any recommendations for similar to this that is still getting serialized, drop that shit in the comments. I'll take a look at it, see if I... I feel the same energy there. I sound like a fucking hippie tonight. <laughs> the, the energy, bro. You gotta just uh, get that energy. Bring down the but, hostile energy. Fucking bring on the metal style fucking gore fest, man. Yeet. I I honestly though would love if we had the one series I would love to fucking review on this channel, but it's so fucking inconsistent. It pisses me off. Is that sacrificial vote? Hmm. I'll have to look into that. It is. Red, I, I don't know if it's your cup of tea, but I fucking... I, I mean, a Andy Andy also read this, and he he said he didn't think it would be my cup of tea, and I, I was, he was wrong. <laughs> That's, but that fucking... That scene that I sent you the screenshot of, like, when you said, Oh, the Soviet Union... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking gun that will shit started man that that was what i was talking about like this fucking series does not get flying fuck oh yeah offense. i mean that shit was fucking With, crazy like the, like, fucking, like the, the yeah it appeared for 14 seconds and killed thousands of people like jesus like i can't even imagine that the stats the scale of that is like insane like <laughs> can't wait to see how they fucking like is this like end goal of the series like taking down that motherfucker like that's that's fascinating I, I honestly don't know. Like, I hope that's not the end goal. I hope we get something even crazier. Well, that's probably a mid goal. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, maybe this will pull a Torico, and like near the end, we'll be like fighting demons in space. <laughs> how would a fucking? How would his head function in space? I'm gonna though? grab space titties. I'm gonna Captain Kirk this shit. Alien titties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It's it's fascinating. I love it. Uh, I'm starting to run out of energy. I'm tired as fuck. So uh, you got me thinking me, now. How would that power work in space? <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> well, I don't think it's like I don't think it genuinely works like a real chainsaw. I mean, it's a demon, so like I think it's a chainsaw run by demonic well, energy. But, it's not like it's literally but, fueled by gasoline. No, but would he run out of oxygen, or would the demon? Not if he keeps drinking blood. <laughs> Like, that's a fascinating fucking discussion now. <laughs> Just bring a fucking cow and have, like, a bendy straw coming out of its throat. Oh like, remember fuck. that fucking scene with the blood the blood devil who is... Okay, now, who's best... Okay, so for best girl for you is the Dom girl, but, like, top contender is that demon girl, too. Let's be honest. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so, um, either way, I love it. Get used to... Or get ready for weekly reviews of this. Uh, and for me, that's peace. Peace.